in your, in your heart, even if you don't say it out. Before you go to school, you pray. When you get to the class, once you sit, you thank him for leading you to school and tell him to take care of you at school because you might be playing at the, at the playground and you injure yourself. But when you pray and ask him to protect you, he's not going to injure you. You know, some people, they will come out in the morning to go to school and a car will knock them down. But for him to take you to school safely, that shows he's with you. Amen. So all this little prayer, you don't get no, there's no format of prayer. Any how you say it, he understands you. Because what he reads is your mind. Even if you just say in your heart, thank you, Jesus, for bringing me to school. See me through here at school and take me back home safely. He will do that. And he loves the prayer of little children. That's why there are some things that will happen to we adults. We call the little ones and say, come pray for me. Because he listens to your prayers. If I am praying and your auntie is praying and you are praying, do you know he will come because you are there? He answers the children fast. So don't say, sometimes pray all the time. Hmm? Pray all the time. The more you pray all the time, the more you see even your schoolwork, he will help you. Before you take your test, once they give you the test, say, Jesus, come and help me. Holy Ghost, I need you now. Help me. He will help you. Like my children, sometimes when they come back, they will tell you, you know, mommy, I didn't even study nicely yesterday, but when I got to school, I said, Holy Spirit, help me, or Jesus, help me, or angels of the Almighty God, help me. Then what they read long time, that is there and they didn't study it. The, the Holy Spirit of Jesus will remind them. They will come and tell you, you know, I didn't even study that, but I was shocked how I could remember. Because of what they called his name and they, they, they asked for help. You must always ask him for help. You must always tell him when you have problems, before you come to your auntie to tell your auntie the problem. By your bed, just kneel down and whisper to him, Father, this is what I want. You know what? He cannot touch the mind of your auntie. Maybe when you come to her, she doesn't have it. But because you have spoken to the Almighty Father, what he will do now is either he will tell auntie who to meet, where to go, and he will provide that for you. My children always talk to him before they come to me. Sometimes they write later, they come and put it on my altar, they didn't tell me anything. But sometimes you see us doing that for them because they have spoken to the right person. Your auntie is not the right person. I'm not the right person. The right person is him. Because if she doesn't have it, even if you cry from now till 2030, she doesn't have it. But if you speak to the father, then you come to her, then the father will provide for her. Then you get what you want. So I need you guys to be praying. The next time I come here, I don't want to hear sometimes. I want to hear all the time. Yes. You got it? Yes. You got it now? Yes. Every little thing. Even when your brothers or any one of you, even the babies, they are sick. You see now somebody is sick now. Do you know you can stay here and you hold hands together and you call the baby's name and you pray? Whatever, because no sickness is from God. Every sickness is from Satan, the devil. So when you people stay here, and your auntie took the baby to the hospital, you just, just said, Jesus, whatever that is happening to him or her, please heal her. They might get to the hospital and the doctor will say, oh no, there's nothing wrong. Before they will get to the hospital, because you people called him, he will heal him. Or her before they get to the hospital or if it's something the doctor he will give the doctors the knowledge exactly what is wrong with the child and they will heal the child so I want you people to pray about everything hmm? don't say ah no this one I can do it we have no power we have no power you know that sometimes you wake up you don't feel like getting off the bed sometimes we wake up we're tired we can't even get off the bed but he 
is the one that made us open the eyes, made us, you, you're weak, but all of a sudden you see, now you're okay. Because he knows you're weak, your body is weak. He will put in his power. So I want you to know him more, speak to him more. In the night you can come together as siblings, you pray and tell him we are going, going to bed, protect us. You know, there are some children, there are some people, they go to bed and don't wake up. Tell him to protect us. Even in the dream, protect us. Hmm? Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, sir.